In this video, how to fix the secure boot option is missing in MSI motherboards. In window, you can check if the computer is using legacy BIOS mode by search for MS Info 32. Then open the system information app. Look for the BIOS mode. Legacy means the computer boot mode is BIOS mode. UEFI means the computer boot mode is UEFI. First, we need to disable the CSM by changing the Windows 10 WHQL support from CSM to UEFI. As you can see, the secure boot option is available now. When trying to enable the secure boot, you would get this warning. To fix it, Let's change the secure boot mode from standard to custom. Select key management. Select enroll all factory default keys. Click yes to install factory defaults. Once done, go back then enable the secure boot. As you can see, the secure boot has been enabled successfully. In some cases, once secure boot is enabled, you may lose access to Windows and encounter an endless BIOS loop. When you access the boot device menu, you will see no drive to boot from. Don't worry, the Windows and all your data would be safe. You got this because the Windows is installed in the legacy BIOS mode, so the disk style is MBR. But after change the boot mode to UEFI, the disk style must be GPT. The first step is reset the computer, then access to BIOS setup again. In some cases, if you cannot to access the BIOS after enable the secure boot, you can turn off the PC, switch of the power supply, or unplug the power cord. Reset the BIOS by either using the clear CMOS jumper or removing the battery for a few minutes. Put the battery back into the motherboard. Then restore power and restart the computer. Next, revert the changes to enable the CSM support and disable the secure boot. As you can see, after enabling CSM support, the disk appears in the boot device list. And now we can access the windows normally. In windows, you can verify if the disk style is MBR using the disk management tool. The boot mode is legacy and the secure boot is disabled. Now, we need to convert the Windows system disk from MBR to GPT before enabling the secure boot in BIOS. 
Before you begin, ensure that all required conditions for the tool are met to successfully convert a disk from MBR to GPT partitioning. Please review them carefully. It is recommended to perform the MBR to GPT conversion in Windows PE, but I will try to do it directly in Windows first. Before converting, ensure that all running applications are closed. I recommend restarting the computer and performing the conversion immediately after it starts, with no applications running. First, right-click on the Windows Start icon, then open Terminal or PowerShell as administrator. Run this command to check if the disk can be converted to GPT. If no errors occur, you can convert the disk to GPT using the convert switch in the command. The disk style has been successfully converted from MBR to GPT. The next step is to restart into the BIOS to enable UEFI boot mode and secure boot. Converting a disk from MBR to GPT may result in various errors, but don't worry. I've created several videos on how to fix common issues when using MBR to GPT. You can find the links in this video's description. At this moment, you can open the Disk Manager to see if the disk style is converted to GPT. A small partition for the EFI system is created automatically, which is why the disk can only have a maximum of three partitions before converting to GPT. Now, Restart the computer to BIOS and enable the UEFI mode and secure boot. The boot mode is now configured to UEFI, and the secure boot is enabled. That's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in the next videos.